guys, so I'm here today to do a first impressions video for you. I picked up this L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder Bare Skin Perfecting Makeup Foundation about a week ago. I haven't had a chance to use it yet, so I decided I'm going to do a first impressions video. I'm going to apply it on my face and then do my makeup and then talk to you guys. I feel like if I'm talking to you guys without any makeup on, it's going to be distracting with my face. So yeah, if you can hear it, like hear how liquidy, liquidy this is. Do you like my face? It's like water in the container. It says, shake well for best makeup results. Pour just a few drops onto fingers and apply directly onto skin. Not recommended for use with a brush or a sponge. And I already dropped the cap. I'm so skilled. So I'm just going to kind of spread this all on my face. And see how I like it. And I got some on my legs already. How exciting. And I'm just going to smooth it in. It does have a really weird consistency. Not bad weird, but just weird. So I've poured a little bit onto my hands and you can see just how liquid it is. I'm going to just use that to kind of add more coverage because I don't think I put enough on the first time. It honestly feels so, like, slick. I'm just going to do what I normally do and add more coverage to areas because I've heard it is buildable. So that is the finished look. I basically put on one layer and then added some more coverage. Oh, I missed a spot for blending. It honestly, I'm just trying to like get to my, look into my mirror here and it does not, it does not look like there's anything on my skin, but I can see that my skin looks so much better. I'm just going to put the rest of my makeup on and I'll be back to kind of discuss what I just encountered. Okay, so I really didn't add that much more to my face because I really like this foundation short kind of Coles Notes review. Um, oh, I'm blurry. So, I don't know you guys, I showed you guys how watery and liquidy it is and you can hear how liquidy it is, but it really smooths onto your face almost like an oil. Like it feels... Like, it's almost like it's so silky feeling that it's like an oil rubbing onto your face. It's very different from any foundation I've ever used. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Giorgio Armani Maestro foundation, I believe it's called. It's the one that came out, I believe it was last year, maybe a little bit longer ago. But it basically was this, like, crazy texture, but it was also crazy expensive. Everyone raved about how perfect it made your face look, but, like, I was not about to spend that much money on a foundation. So I didn't and L'Oreal is owned by the same company that makes Giorgio Armani so it probably is a similar formula. Obviously it's going to be not as good because this is $14.97 and the Giorgio Armani is god knows how much but I really like the way this looks. It has a very skin like finish to it. It has a little bit of a satin finish. You can see the sheen coming through from your skin. It doesn't look like you're wearing a lot of foundation. All I added was concealer and blush and I did my eyebrows. I actually didn't powder this and I always powder my foundations. So we'll see how that lasts throughout the day. I probably won't be able to do a lot of check-ins, but I will do one at the end of my day. So that at least you guys can see, I can tell you guys what happened with the foundation throughout the day. I really like it. I really like the packaging also. It's a glass packaging with this kind of ombre effect that the uh, Rimmel Apocalypse have that I loved so much. It has white at the top and then it fades into the actual foundation shade in the bottom. Looks so pretty. Um, You get 0.91 fluid ounces, which is slightly less than a regular foundation, but I mean, not by much. It's 0 0.09 less, so like, whatever. Um... And it says that you shouldn't use it with a brush or a sponge. 
I might do a full review of this later because I would like to try it with brushes and sponges and see how it works, but I could see I don't know, I could see it going either way. I could see it working really well or not working at all. So it says you should use your fingers. Something about the warmth of your fingers probably working it into your skin. I feel like I'm talking like 90 miles an hour. I'm really sorry. Um, so yeah, I'm in the shade Classic Ivory. really like this. Like really. It doesn't have a pump, obviously, as you guys saw. But I like that it has a tiny opening. But like I said, if you're pouring this onto your hands, be very careful because it is very liquidy. It's like pouring water onto your hands. So you want to be very slow and careful and always shake it before you use it. But I really like the way this looks on my skin. It's not full coverage at all. It's more of like a, I would say a light to medium buildable coverage. But it looks really pretty. I really like it. I'm just like checking myself out. And what I like is that it, it really does melt into your skin. You can barely tell it's there. So yeah, um, I'll be back later, probably in the nighttime, to give you guys a little checkup, and I will, so I'll see you then. So, as I'm gonna guess, you can tell from my outfit and my makeup, this is a different day. Um, so I filmed my first impressions video, and then I was out, and by the time I could film, like, an update, it was midnight, and I put my makeup on at 11.30 in the morning, so, like, and I was tired, so I just didn't do an update, and here I am on two days later, where I've been using the foundation, so I'm just going to tell you what my first impressions were and give you a little update on <laughs> how I've been liking it. Um, so, basically, day one, my first impression, I didn't wear primer and I didn't wear powder, which is a big deal for me. And I would say that the foundation lasted about four hours was where it started to wear on me. Actually, maybe about five or six hours before it started to wear on me, and about six hours I would have wanted a touch-up of powder, which I wasn't wearing. But, yeah, I thought it was good. I wore the foundation yesterday, and I'm wearing it today. And I wore it with my Benefit Primer, the Professional Primer. And I powdered it just very lightly with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. And I feel like those two things extended the wear of this foundation crazy by, like, I think it was at 8 hours yesterday, my foundation still looked pretty good. There was minimal wearing, um, I probably would have needed to touch up a little bit, but I mean it was good. I really, really do like this foundation. Um, I hate the fact that there's not a pump because I thought the small opening would make it easier so that I could just kind of put my finger on it, shake it up, and then apply the product to my face, but it just because it melts into your face so quickly and because you need a little bit more than that it just I don't find that works I've only used my fingers to apply this foundation and it does apply very smoothly it gives a gorgeous satin finish I would say that it's a light to medium buildable coverage foundation I definitely think it gives medium coverage especially if you're going to use a concealer and a powder like I think my face looks pretty awesome right now I really love the way it looks um, I just concealed around my mouth and under my eyes. I really didn't conceal anywhere else. And I think that it just looks really nice on the skin. It's just such a nice finish. I would definitely say this foundation is more for someone who doesn't need a lot of coverage. Or it's a great, like, summertime foundation. Like, I could wear this in the summer. It'll give me a little bit more coverage than a tinted moisturizer. And just kind of gives me, like, this beautiful satin, like, radiance to my skin. I really do like this foundation like a lot. So that was like partial review, partial first impressions. Um, sorry my first first impressions video was such a fail. I just am not used to doing first impressions I guess. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.